Fire broke out at a Chinese billionaire's penthouse just hours after his arrest. He is charged with fraud and money laundering, and as CBS 2's Alicia Reed explains, he was once an ally of former Trump advisor Steve Bannon. Maurice and Christine, the suspect, was all smiles in court today, but the charges he's facing are very serious. Chinese business tycoon Go Wengui, who also goes by a half a dozen other aliases, is facing international money laundering, conspiracy, and fraud charges for allegedly soliciting more than a billion dollars of investments from thousands of online victims. We're seeing these kinds of scams um, in the investment space growing and as we're seeing the economy worsen. Court documents say Go lied to his victims, promising large returns on their investments into his two nonprofits. Instead, he's accused of using more than $300 million to purchase a New Jersey mansion, luxury vehicles, including a Ferrari, and a super yacht, among other things. It's really surprising to me, and it continues to surprise me, how many people are willing to provide a lot of their money to. The people like this man. Go left China in 2014 amid bribery and money laundering charges. He has close ties to former Trump advisor Steve Bannon, announcing a joint initiative back in 2020 to overthrow the Chinese government. Mr. Gao um, had created these nonprofits and things that would allow people to align to his views, and then that gave them the sense of credibility that he was somebody that they could trust. Hours after Go's arrest inside his 18th floor penthouse at the Sherry Netherland Hotel near Central Park, a fire broke out. Law enforcement officials say the FBI was on scene executing a search warrant when the blaze erupted. Go's financier Kin Ming Jae resides in the UK and is also facing charges. He's currently at large while Go remains behind bars after pleading not guilty to his charges. He's due back in court on April 4th. On the Upper East Side, Alicia Reed, CBS 2 News.